Okay, so I forgot to add a few things. Um, I just watched all of that. So the one thing that I forgot to add is that I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. Um, I'm just somebody who's really invested in my own personal health, and I feel that if you care about yourself enough to get healthy, then you need to be informed. You can't just accept something because a doctor says it. You just can't. I just don't believe that. I just think that you need to read about it and figure it out on your own, and you need to be smart enough about it because smart people get skinny and informed people get skinny. Anyway, so um, so that's my disclaimer. So you can't, you know, just because I say I'm doing it, it's just what I'm doing. Um, but I really encourage you to read about it yourself and, and figure out for yourself what you're going to take vitamin-wise or whatever you're going to do health-wise. Um, the other thing I was going to say is that today was our first um, num day number one of our VLCD. Um, this morning I had coffee and I actually did put some sugar-free hazelnut um, coffee made in there because um, I've seen a few people that have done that with good results and so I made sure that I measured and I didn't, you know, overdo it. I measured it. But, um, and I didn't even drink all of the coffee so, you know, that was good. And then for lunch, we had um, my tomato and chicken soup that y'all saw me make in the, um, in the, oops, that's my phone. Probably my boyfriend saying he's on his way home. Yay! Um, anyway, so we had a chicken and tomato soup for lunch with a big salad of romaine lettuce, and I put a little bit of cucumbers and green peppers on it for garnish and a little bit of crunch. Not a whole lot, just enough to be crunchy. And then I made a dressing, actually, out of some melted coconut oil with um, a tiny spoonful of this um, apple butter that I have that is, the only ingredients in it are apples and apple juice. And it's only 20 calories a serve, or a tablespoon, but I didn't even use a tablespoon. I used like a teaspoon for um, a little bit of sweetness. And then I also used um, a little spoonful of a whole grain mustard that I have that doesn't have any sugar in it. The only ingredients are like mustard, salt, and apple cider vinegar. And then I did use balsamic vinegar. Now I use an aged balsamic vinegar that comes from Italy that is made of nothing but red wine, aged red wine, because that's all that's all that vinegar is 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 wine that's turned and um and then if you age it, it'll get syrupy if you do balsamic vinegar. But you have to pay attention to make sure that there's no um, additives in it like caramel or any kind of sugar or sweetener in them because a lot of times cheaper vinegars will be made syrupy like an aged vinegar by using cheap sugar or syrup or something like that. So you have to make sure that they're, that's the only ingredient is red wine. And so um, I found that actually at World Market. It's in a little, um, I don't have it up here with me, but it's in a little um, round glass bottle. And it was only about $12, but we found it last round and it really, we used it the entire round as salad dressing just by itself because it's thick enough that it has a little bit more viscosity for a salad dressing than just plain vinegar. But today I added it to the vinaigrette with the melted coconut oil, some a spoonful of nutritional yeast, Bragg's nutritional yeast, and some salt and pepper, and garlic powder. Garlic powder was in it. But, um, you know, it really wasn't very much dressing. It was probably a tablespoon of dressing per person. But um, it was just enough to be, and it was still very bright and tangy, like a just a vinegar dressing would be. But, um, but... I really, I'm okay with putting all of those ingredients in my body that were in, in it, and, and I feel certain that it'll be okay on, um, on HCG for us, but, it, you know, if you're one of those people that sticks strictly to the strict protocol, good for you, um, and I was going to say, you know, as we encourage each other on HCG, I think it's really important that you encourage people to follow their journey and not to necessarily have to follow yours. Because if you're strict, that's great. That's awesome. If you go off protocol and you do rogue items like coconut products and, you know, MCT oil and nutritional yeast and things that aren't specifically in um, the protocol and it works for you, then great. I think part of our success is using those things because we don't stall very often. And I see people that do strictly protocol stall often. And we, we would never stall for more than a day. And I think that it's because you're changing things up on your body. And um, as long as you make sure that they're the right things to try, then um, that's why I say that we never cheated. Because 
we did things that were planned. If you have planned things that are off strict protocol, but you researched it and the reason why you're adding it is to be along with HCG, then you're not cheating. And so that's why I think we have such success. I mean, I lost 30 pounds in my first round and I'm, I'm a girl. Usually girls don't lose that much. And I really think that the reason why is because we were able to stick to things because we had things like fat fast days and nut days and they kind of broke everything up and we still lost weight. So you can't tell me that it's not right or not healthy because we lost weight. Not only that, but we didn't have a hard time stabilizing at all. You know, it wasn't all over the board. We only did really one correction day, one correction day. And it wasn't even like, it wasn't even a, oh my gosh, we're so over. We need to do a correction day. We were just nearing two pounds and did a correction day. We did steak and eggs and cheese day. And we were right back under. And then in phase four, we stabilized under our LDW. Both of us did. We continued to lose weight. In fact, my boyfriend lost weight during one of the loading days. How crazy is that? I mean, the next day we gained. Um, in fact, he gained about 10 pounds loading and I gained about seven. But it was that fair food that we went and had. You know, it was delicious. Anyway, so um, so I'm getting a little long-winded in this vlog. But um, so the things that we're going to do um, this round, we're still going to use coconut products and everything. And I really believe in that. I've researched a lot about it and um, that's why I include it. Include it. So, um, but we'll just keep you updated. Um, I weighed in this morning. I've, I've decided this, this round, I'm going to tell you what I weigh. I didn't tell you last round because I was embarrassed, but, um, I started last round at 185.6 and I'm 5'2". Something had to change. And, um, so started at 185.6. My highest weight ever was 189, if I'm being honest. Um, and my weight stabilized, um, during P4 at 151. So I lost over 30 pounds. I lost just about 30 pounds during HCG and then over the next, you know, six weeks on P3 and then on P4, I lost another five pounds. So, um, but then I've, I gained in, um, in loading days I gained and I ended up at 157. And so that's what I weighed in at this morning. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. And um, for dinner tonight, we're going to have the chili that I made in bulk that you can look at the video for that. And then um, I think I'm also going to try to do like a little baked apple thing um, for not dessert, but just as our fruit for tonight. Because it's fall and it'll be warm and yummy. And I have that Saigon roasted cinnamon that I got at Walmart. So that'll be good. Anyway, um... I'll probably put macadamia nuts and toasted coconut on it as well and some coconut butter or oil, one of the two. Um, it'll be a small portion. It'll be just one apple, but I think those will be some good things. So, yummy. Anyway, um, lots of love to you guys out there, and um, I look forward to doing more vlogs, and hopefully I can do one every day or maybe every other day. We'll see. But, um, yep, so excited to be back for you guys. Um, next time I'll put some makeup on, I promise. Bye.